In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can divide a polynomial by a binomial. As we do, we're going to follow the exact same pattern as long division. And on the division step, we will only focus on, instead of the front numbers, the front term. So if we were to see x cubed minus 2x squared minus 15x plus 30, all divided by the x plus 4, we could write this out, the x plus 4 is being divided into x cubed minus 2x squared minus 15x plus 30. On the division step, we're only going to focus on the front term, which means we are only going to take x cubed and divide it by the x just like we did with long division, taking the front term divided by the front number. And when we do that, x cubed divided by x is x squared, simply subtracting the exponents. What we found happened next in long division is this number had to be multiplied by the divisor. So we have to distribute x times x squared times x is x cubed and x squared times 4 is positive 4x squared. The next step, then, was the important one where we changed the sign on this number written in green. As we change the sign, we're going to change the sign on each term. So the x cubed is now negative, and the 4x squared is now negative. So now, we'll see the x cubed, the negative x cubed, that subtracts out to 0. We're left with negative 2 minus 4, negative 6 x squared. Bring down the next term, just like in long division, minus 15 x. And then we can repeat the same process, again, dividing the front term, the 6 x squared, sorry, negative 6 x squared, don't lose that negative, divided by the front term of x. When we do, one of the x's divides out, giving us negative 6x, and that goes up here on top. Then, we must take this negative 6x and distribute it onto each term in the divisor. Negative 6x times x is negative 6x squared. Negative 6x times 4 is negative 24x. Again, the next step, very important. Don't forget, we must change the signs before we combine. So the negative 6x is positive 6x squared. The negative 24x becomes positive 24x. And that allows us to subtract out to 0 on the x squareds. And then we have negative 15x plus 24x is 9x. And we can bring down the next term of the plus 30 and repeat the process. Again, divide the front term, the 9x, by the front term of x. 9x, divide out the x, we're just left with a positive 9. And then again, we have to multiply this positive 9 by the divisor. 9 times x is 9x, 9 times 4 is 36, and then we have to go through and, very important, change the signs on both terms. The 9x becomes negative, the 36 becomes negative, so that we can combine. The 9x is subtract out, 30 minus 36 is negative 6, nothing left to bring down, that means we have a remainder of negative 6. When we divide these polynomials, we end up with x squared minus 6x plus 9 with a remainder of negative 6. Let's try another example. Going through this process step by step, dividing the front terms, multiplying, changing the sign, bringing down the next term. 
over and over again, the same process. 2x minus 1 is going to be divided into 4x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12x minus 5. Again, we'll start by dividing the front terms. The 4x cubed is going to be divided this time by 2x. 4 over 2 reduces to 2, and when we subtract the exponents, we have x squared. 2x squared is our solution that now needs to be multiplied by each term. 2x squared times 2x is 4x cubed. 2x squared times negative 1 is negative 2x squared. The next step is really important because we have to go through and change the sign on both. Make it a negative 4x cubed and a positive 2x squared. The x cubes then should subtract out to 0. Negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4x squared. Bring down the next term, the positive 12x, and repeat. The front term is 4x squared, negative. Don't lose the negative. Divided by 2x. That's going to give us negative 2 this time, and x squared over x is x, so we have negative 2x. That's going to be distributed onto the front divisor. Negative 2x times 2x is negative 4x squared. Negative 2x times negative 1 is positive 2x. Again, we change the sign on the negative 4x squared, making it positive, and the 2x making it negative before we combine. The x squareds are going to subtract to 0, and 12x minus 2x is now 10x, and we can bring down the last term of the minus 5. And we repeat the process. Taking the front term of 10x and dividing by the front term of 2x, that's going to give us just 5, a positive 5. That 5 has to distribute onto the divisor. 5 times 2x is 10x, and 5 times negative 1 is negative 5, and we change the signs, making the 10x negative 10x and the 5 a positive 5, so we can combine. The 10s are gone. Interestingly enough, the 5s are also gone. There is 0 remaining. We don't have any remainder on this problem, so our final answer is simply 2x squared minus 2x plus 5. Division is going to go through the exact same steps that we saw in the long division video, where we multiply the front numbers. Let me move it over here. Where we multiply, or, well, let's try again. Where we divide the front numbers, multiply by the divisor, change the sign and combine, bring down the next term, and repeat. Just like long division of whole numbers, we can do long division of polynomials.